Hello, this is Justin from The Tech Train here, and I'd like to share with you uh, a method of creating a PowerPoint presentation that's a little different from the kind of presentation that you often get to see. I've demonstrated this to a few people and uh, they certainly were very interested. I thought I'd share it with you. It's a little difficult to describe, so I've got an, an example here to show you. I'm sort of calling it a uh, linear, multi-directional exploration of a bigger picture type presentation. That's as punchy as I think I could get it. Uh, let me just show you uh, this particular presentation. So uh, this one here is just simply demonstrating how to um, imagine the movement of an email going from your computer to somebody else's computer. What you'll see as we progress through these slides is that we're kind of exploring a bigger picture here. We're moving not just from uh, left to right or from right to left, we're going up, we're going down, we're going left, we're going right, um, as though we are looking down on a big picture or on a map um, of a bigger picture and we are exploring that map, a route if you like. So you'll see that we've already gone uh, to the left, to the right, we've gone up, we've gone down. Uh, so we're exploring this, this bigger picture. Uh, so effectively you're creating in the uh, mind of your audience this larger image, this larger picture, uh, showing how every part of your presentation is connected to one big, one whole message, if you like. Um, for this particular example, showing the route that an email would take going through uh, various networks, going through the internet, uh, we can see how what we're trying to do is create an image in the, in the student's mind um, that all of these stages, all of these parts are connected. They're all one part of one big solution. Um, so we're almost there. Uh, just uh, complete to the end. If you're interested in having a copy of this presentation, do let me know. Um, and uh, if anybody does uh, express interest, I'll be happy to send it to you. Uh, so there we are. We, we've we reached the end of this presentation. Uh, so this, uh, this, this idea of creating a multi-directional uh, presentation that explores a big picture, it shows the links, it shows how all parts are connected, is quite a good idea. Well, I think certainly and a few people seem to agree. So I'm going to show you how to create something like this now from scratch. So I'm going to start from scratch with a new blank presentation. I'm going to change the layouts to uh, blank for this and I'm not going to worry about any fancy graphics. I'm just going to show you the basic mechanics and once I've shown you the basic mechanics, I'm sure you'll be fine uh, with creating anything that you like. Uh, the two main skills here are with video, uh, sorry, with uh, slide transitions and also with alignment. And funny enough, alignment is actually the biggest thing here. So, so that's what I'll focus on. Um, let's just uh, create our starting point. So that perhaps is a, an image or a text box or whatever. And we want to begin by creating a, a line that maybe goes from this to the right hand side. And that's where we're going to be heading. So we create that connection and we know we want to be going from this slide here sliding to the right. So what I'm going to do, uh, because if we slide to the right, this line here needs to connect up on the left hand side of the next slide exactly. Uh, so in order to make sure we've got that exact alignment, I'm going to duplicate this slide here. So I've now got two copies of the same slide. The reason I do that is because this line here I know is at the right height. Um, and I can simply now, um, for example, align it to the left hand slide, uh, sorry, the left hand side of the slide. Uh, so we've now got this point here exactly lined up with that point there. So the two now connect. And what I'm going to do is move that block there onto the next point. And I've just noticed I think this line's actually at a slight angle. So I may just do that again. Let me just change that. I think that, that line is not entirely horizontal. So let's just make sure that is horizontal and just quickly do that again. So click on the line, format, align, left. This is aligned to slide, of course. 
so then I can change the, the length of that line if I want to, move this box around, um, and the next slide is going to go down. But for the moment, let's just see how we can connect these two slides together. Um, it is, of course, a transition. So what I need to do is click on the second slide, go to transition, and it is um, a push animation that we're using. So if I click push, then you can see the default is to push up. Uh, what we have to do is think about which direction this slide is pushing in from. And of course, we can see that the first slide is connecting to the right hand side. So if the first slide is connecting to the right hand side, this slide is pushing from the right. So in the effect options, I choose from right and we can see straight away how that works. If I run the presentation and I go forwards to the next slide, you can see how we slide seamlessly from one to the next. In fact, we can obviously slide in either direction. So already it's looking a little bit like it's one big slide that somehow we're sliding around uh, within. But let's see how we can take this a bit further. So this next slide, this is slide two. Let's imagine I now want to go down. So what I'm going to do is just uh, duplicate that line since I've got the style that I want uh, and I'm going to rotate that by uh, 90 degrees so it's going vertically down and I'm going to snap that there. So that is now connected to the bottom of the next slide. So my next slide needs to make sure these two points here are exactly lined up. So to do that I duplicate this slide so I now know that this line is horizontally uh, in exactly the right place. I don't need this line anymore because that was for the previous connection. And this line here needs to be uh, lined to the top. So I'm going to click Format Align Top. So now we know that point there is exactly lined up with this point here. Uh, again, I can uh, move this around. Uh, and in fact, I can even add another line if I want to. Let's, uh, let's do that. So let's rotate that by 90 degrees as well. Uh, pop that there and have this box here. So again, to set up the transition, uh, we have to look at this slide and think, um, where is the next slide coming from? And the next slide is coming from the bottom, which means this slide has to push up from the bottom. So I click on transition, push, and then change the effect options to from bottom, like that. So again, if I now play the presentation, you can see that there's our first slide. Uh, as soon as we move to the next slide, we slide to the right, and the next slide, we slide down. And again, we can go backwards through all those different points. So that really is all there is to it. Uh, you've just simply got to make sure that your lines line up correctly, and the best way of doing that is using duplication, and you've got to make sure that your push animation is going from the right direction. Um, I'll just do one more just to make absolutely sure um, you're fine with this. So uh, we've slid from the right, then we've slid from the bottom. Uh, let's now slide to the left just to mix things up. So if this slide here is going to connect to the left hand side, then I want a line that will do that. So I'm going to create a line going out to the left hand side like that. Make sure it connects up completely there like that. Then I'm going to duplicate that slide. I don't need the previous lines now, I can forget that. Uh, I can move this around wherever I want it to be. Let's move it into there. Um, this needs to be aligned to the right hand side, so let's do that now. Format align right. So this line here is connecting on the left hand side, that means this line has to connect on the right hand side. I'm just going to put a bit of an elbow in this, just so it's going um, up a little bit. Like that. And then we'll put this block just there. So now we know that this line here is connected up with that line there because we used duplication and we didn't drag anything. We just aligned it to the left, right, top or bottom of the slide. We know it's lined up. Uh, we now need to think, okay, so where is the next slide coming from? And we can see that the next slide needs to come in from the left, which means the push transition on this slide needs to be a push from the left. 
there we go. So again, I'll play the presentation. So we push from the right, then we push from the bottom, and then we push from the left. And we can go back through the presentation following that route. And it really does feel, as you, when you're looking at this presentation, as though you are somehow almost able to zoom out and see the whole picture. It does feel as though it is all connected. So I hope that explains the, the way that this method works. I've actually used this to create some quite complex, uh, quite advanced uh, presentations and games, uh, which uh, I may well share in uh, future videos. Um, so there's a lot you can do with this. It's quite a powerful technique. And to be honest, I don't see it being used really very much. In fact, I've never seen it being used uh, before. Uh, I may well not be the first person to come up with the idea, but certainly it's not a widespread uh, idea, I don't think. And I think it should be because making these connections is, is a really good way of uh, creating a presentation which is more smooth, more seamless, more joined up, more connected. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do give this video a like. It really is appreciated and it does make a difference. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the little bell, if you click that, will make sure that you're notified when a new video is uploaded. And if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please do leave a comment below. I read all comments and I do reply to as many of them as I possibly can. So thank you very much indeed for watching. Hit the like button before you go. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.